If you want to sell just about anything on the internet, you're going to need a landing page. And if you use Facebook ads or Google ads or even ads on YouTube, you're also going to need a landing page so you can point people to a page where they can convert and become a client. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to create a landing page step by step going over all the key elements to make sure that your landing page converts. Let's go. Now there are several paid solutions that are available and I'm going to put a link in the description to a few of those. But for today's tutorial, I'm going to use a WordPress installation and a free plugin. So let's just go right ahead and start creating the landing page. To prepare yourself, you're going to need the following. First, you're going to need uh, images or at least one image. Two, you're going to need a headline or a title. Three, you're going to need a call to action or CTAs. Five, you're going to need a description of the benefits and consequences relating to the product or service that you are trying to get people to take action with. And fifth, you're going to need some social proof elements like testimonials of logos that relate to the product or service. So for today's tutorial, we're going to use a client of mine and he's selling debt settlement services. So the page that we're going to create would be the page you would see after you clicking on a Facebook or a Google ad. All right, so for images, um, I, I just wanted to show this because I know a lot of people are doing this. They'll go to Google, look for the images, like for example here, I search for happy people, and then just see what um, uh, Google is going to give me. The problem is when I'm taking a picture from here, I'm stealing a picture and I'm using an unlicensed picture. So that's not the way I recommend to do it. And for that reason, I use a system called Storyblocks and I'm going to put a link in the description. You can check them out. Now, regardless of what solution you're going to use to find your pictures, um, just save the pictures, put them on your laptop because we're going to need them in a little bit. All right, so now that we've downloaded the images that we need for our landing page, now let's go into the website and start creating our landing page. All right, so now we are in the back end of the WordPress website and the plugin that I used is called Elementor and there is a link in the description uh, if you want to install it on your website. They have a free version of it which will give you basic uh, capabilities which is what I'm using for uh, this demo and they have a paid version which I think is around left $50. So it's not outrageously expensive to buy Elementor and get all the professional uh, add-ons but the basic stuff just does a good job if you want to create a basic landing page and you know the whopping price of free. So obviously the first thing you want to do is you know click on add new, add a new page. And then you're going to get to this funky screen here. Uh, but what you want to do is you want to click on edit with Elementor. Click on that. Now once your page opens up with Elementor, this is how it's going to look like. You're going to have your elements on the left, which you can simply drag and drop. Um, and then you're going to have your page. Now in the middle, I have a couple of elements. I have this one. If I click on it, it actually will uh, set the structure of that specific row. So I can go full row or you know two columns or three columns and four columns and so forth and so on. I'm going to close this up. Or you can click on this, this little uh, icon with the folder and this is where a lot of magic is here. Now once you click on the library icon you're going to get uh, access to all of those templates that you can select. Uh, the vast majority of them are not available for free. Uh, only the first five are available for free. All the others are uh, available for the pro version and if you pay. So uh, the advantage of the pro version is it gives you an enormous amount of landing uh, pages template. Uh, check this out here. All landing page, chiropractor, landing. I mean, there is tons of landing page everywhere that you can use. Uh, look at that uh, landing page mobile app. Uh, I mean tons of landing page that are already pre-made uh, but for this demo because we're doing the free version I actually use the agency which gives me all the elements that I want and I don't have to pay for the pro version so I'm gonna click on this one. I'm gonna then click on insert and there you have it. It has dropped all the elements for me of that page, row after row, they're all there. All I have to do is customize, add some, or delete some. Super simple. 
Now, each of the elements like design your WordPress, if I click on it, it's going to show it to me on the left hand side. You know, if I say design your landing page, there you go. It changed it for me. The same thing for, uh, for this text, it's edited on the left. If I don't like this little bar here, I can simply right mouse click on it, click on delete. Boom, this is gone. It's really super easy. It's just, you know, drag and drop, edit the text on the left. It's super simple. You need no coding. It's like, you know, literally a 10 year old can build a landing page using this method. And as you're scrolling down, it's going to be the same thing. So we're going to want to keep some uh, sections and we're going to want to delete some others. Like for example, this entire section, if that doesn't work for you, you just click on the little X here, boom, it's gone. Same thing with the one below, just remove the, uh, the, the sections that you don't need. Uh, like this one, we're going to keep the one on the bottom. We're not going to keep this one in the middle. And then we have a good section here. So what I'm looking for is I'm looking for, for the main image with uh, the title uh, subtext we're going to add a call to action we're going to keep this area here with all the logos because we, we need that for social proof uh, we're going to keep the um, the testimonial right there uh, we're going to keep a section here, but we're going to change it up a little bit. That's going to be the consequences of not doing anything. And then we'll finish up with the benefits of doing something with a nice call to action. So I've already pre-built uh, a, a page with some of the elements. So let's switch to it and I'm going to show you what I've done. So here's the page that I've pre-built uh, for this. So we'll take a look at this. We have the picture in the background, first of all. So uh, if I right mouse click on it and it says edit the hero section, this section right there. It's gonna open it up on the left side, all the dialogue and all the things that I can do. So if I click on style here, you can see that I can change the picture right there. If I wanna choose a different picture, I just click on choose image. I can go in my media library See, it's opening up and I can choose a different picture. I can choose the, the older uh, couple. Here, if I switch this picture and I insert this media, boom, now I have a different um, uh, visual in the background, right? So right underneath the background, uh, you have a, uh, a section called background overlay and you see there's a little bit of color on top of the picture and I can change, you know, if I wanna make the picture lighter or darker, I can add a little bit of a filter on top of it so the picture is not so dark in the background. So I'm gonna keep it here. I thought it was a little bit dark with this, uh, with this couple and then I'm gonna keep it at, uh, let's Let's say 70 right there or 0.7 and that seems to be good enough. Next is your headline. Now your headline is really important because we know that once people land on your website there's a couple of things they're going to look at. They're going to look at the image and they're going to look at the headline and based on that they're going to make a decision whether they're staying or whether they're going. So it's really important to hook people as soon as they land on that landing page. So here it says ready to break free from debt. This is what people are looking for, but we didn't choose those words like carelessly, like break free was the keyword that we're looking for because we know that when people are under a mountain of debt, they feel like they're shackled, right? So we want to use a word like ready to break free from debt, right? This was really important that you have a benefit centric title that is going to hook people. Underneath that we used the text for uh, subtext and it says if balancing your fi finances feel like a game you can't win, can't win in all caps, we want to make sure that they, they get that. The debt settlement might be your only option. We want to communicate that. Again, it's really important because there's some keywords there that are very uh, important to make sure that we're hooking the person and they feel like we're talking to them. Next is the CTA, right? It's the call to action. So that's super important. So in the template that we've picked, there was no uh, CTA. So all I've done is I clicked on button here and then I just, you can bring it and put that button anywhere you want on the template, right? So if I just drop it here, it's gonna drop that little button, which is what this button was. And then I edited the button. So let me show you how that's done. Let me remove this, delete. And then I clicked on the button. Uh, I changed the text right here, so instead of of, you know, call today or just some call to action that is not really enticing. I said, schedule your one-on-one -on -one consultation, which is 
probably the first call to action that would call people to say, okay, I wanna do something with my debt settlement. Uh, you can add uh, an icon, you can make the button medium. Uh, you could actually make it super small. I don't know why you wanna make it that small, but I, or extra large, super large. So I'm gonna pick large, I think, because large is good enough for this. Um, I added an icon, so it added this little icon, which is the schedule icon. You don't have to have an icon, but I wanted to have a beautiful um, call to action with a nice icon. And I changed the color, uh, which you can do um, on this side here with the style, where you're gonna have the mouse over background when people click on the, uh, on the button. So it's red, and if they put a mouse over and you actually do this, in that section, I just changed the color to green. It's very simple, but you wanna make sure that your button is actually enticing. All right, let's move on to the section right below that, which is the social proof. So there is a, a series of icons here, uh, or logos. Um, I think this is a, a section that you could capitalize on that too by placing logos that would give you credibility. So it's either software you're using or um, uh, things that make sense within the context of what we're trying to do here. Obviously for a debt settlement, I would probably change those logos to the Better Business Bureau or any kind of bank affiliation types of logo that this company is associated with because that's a reassuring and again, it's social proof. And then underneath that you have uh, the testimonial. So uh, testimonial is super important. You need a picture, you need a name, you need a title, and you need to have what they say. I added actually the little three stars here uh, this is something that you can add some elements on the left side here. See the star rating? So I just grabbed that and then you can add the uh, stars underneath. They actually come in smaller sizes. Uh, I made them bigger. I centered it. That's basically how I did that. So I'm going to remove this. Uh, so you see how I've done that. But I've added uh, this testimonial and I want to make sure. And by the way, you don't need a dozen testimonial. One or two is really all you need. Next is we want to add the consequences. You remember we talked at the, at the beginning, you need to have the consequences and the benefits. That's a section that is super important. What are the consequences if you don't take any action? Regardless of what you're selling, whether it's a product or service, you need to tell people if you don't do anything, this is what might happen to you. So here, and again, we don't want to sound gloomy or just, you know, like overreacting, but you know, this is why I chose this picture, which was someone that was frustrated. And I said, Said, you know, there are dire consequences to having too much debt, right? This is unable to borrow money to buy a home, too much debt and difficulty making monthly payment and so forth and so on. So I'm adding here, I, what I'm doing is I'm building my case and I'm telling people, it says, if you don't do anything, this is what's going to happen. And underneath, I have another call to action. Now the call to action is different there. What I'm saying is, says, call our certified credit counselor at 800, I made up the number, right? But the the reason why I have a different call to action than the schedule your one-on-one -on -one consultation is because I'm hitting people at a different stage of where they are. Because some people may be ready to schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation and some people may be like, I just want to talk to someone. I don't want to miss the opportunity to people that may want to talk to someone because I may be able to convert that person that just wants to talk into a paying customer, right? All I want is I want to be able to talk to them. So I'm using multiple calls to action to try to bring them in. But that section is super important. Make sure you have a consequences of not taking action section on your landing page. All right, now let's scroll down and the final section, which is uh, the happy end. Right, this is the section we talked about the consequences. Now these are the benefits or exactly what you're going to have. Now here's what we're saying, you deserve peace of mind. You are not alone. We help more than 1 million people deal with debt settlement and get their freedom back. We're talking about the promise, the desired outcome, what you're gonna have. This is where you need to make sure that you need to reassure people that you actually have empathy, you understand them. You, we We've, we've been there, we understand you. It's a super important on the landing page. And here is we're listing all the benefits that people would have to have their debt settled. Lower your interest rates, reduce monthly payment, eliminate fees and over limit charges. These are all the things that we know 
people that are looking for that settlement are looking for. So you need to do the exact same thing for your product or your service. You need to list the benefits and what it means to them. And last but not least, the final CTA. Again, I made a copy of the CTA all the way at the top and I brought it here. The only thing I added is schedule your one-on-one -on -one consultation today. So I'm trying to bring a little bit of a sense of urgency here, like let's do it today. Uh, but I want to finish with a call to action. So once you've done all your changes on your page, there's a little button on the bottom that says update. You click on that, it's going to update. Now let's go and take a look at the page we've just built together. This is the page right there. Uh, this is how, what it looks like. Uh, your uh, picture in the background, this is a young couple that actually is dealing, obviously he's on a laptop, she's looking at paper. So they're dealing with uh, they're dealing with debt. Uh, we have our title. We have our sub uh, text. We have our call to action. We have the logos of the brands uh, that are giving us credibility and the social proof. Uh, we have a testimonial. If you want to add more testimonial, you can do a two column things and have two of them. One is enough. Uh, trust me on that. The next we have the section of the consequences of not taking action with the call to action underneath, and then the happy end section, again, with a call to action. And that gives you a great landing page to convert people uh, to, into buying your products and services. All right, so that does it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you got value out of it, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. I would watch this video next. Make sure to click on my face and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, ciao.